So up to which topic I yes, I discussed yesterday, Sri, you know? Tell me. Yes, ma'am. Define the segment and after that, uh, uh, GL codes create, how to create GL codes. Uh, yes, madam. Uh, up to that, we, yesterday we completed, madam. Up to? Uh, GL, GL codes. No, written elements. Okay. Up to written elements. Jay, can you hear me? Jay, are you there? Yes, so I discussed yesterday up to written endings account, right? So now I am going to discuss about physical year variant. Okay, what is physical year variant? So, Ma excuse me. Yeah. Hello. Yesterday seven o'clock uh, only seven up to seven o'clock uh, yesterday class is it right? Or seven thirty, madam? Yesterday. Yes. Yesterday um up to seven o'clock. Uh, uh, done only class, madam. Yes, is it right? Yesterday oh, class. Seven thirty. Oh, uh, seven o'clock. My link is uh, disconnected, madam. So I don't know. Okay, madam. So today everybody joined in the group. So I was waiting for the everyone to join the group. So today I'll post the, all the videos from Monday onwards. Okay. Okay, madam. Okay. So physical year variant. Physical year variant is the by using this physical year variant. Okay, physical year is nothing but our client financial year. What is variant? By using the physical year variant, we can maintain our client financial year. We have system defined physical year variants. System has given so according to the country's financial requirement. Okay, so system has given physical year variant P3. April to March. Who can use this April to March? Indian companies. K4. So if I assign this K4 variant to our company code, so that is for January to December, USA companies. If the companies follow July to June, we can assign V6. October to September, V9. So by using this physical year variant, we can maintain the financial year of our client. Okay, so we have April to March in India in case of USA, January to December. Okay, actually there is, uh, normally we have how many periods, uh, April to March, so how many? 12 periods. Apart from 12 periods, we have four special periods. Okay, this is four special periods. What is four special periods? Four special periods are nothing but these are the part of last March only. For adjustment purpose, SAP has given four special periods. Suppose I close the financial year, I am in the next financial year. In the next financial year, I want to post some adjustment entries according to the auditor's requirement. In this case, I use the last previous March period. Okay, so I can open the four special periods. I can use it. So these called four special periods. This we can discuss not right now. So I can discuss at the time of closing procedure after completion of GL, ABA or asset accounting. So there I'll discuss this one. Just for the time being, remember that we have four special periods apart from normal periods, okay? So, okay, uh, what is our financial year right now? April 21 to March 22. But in, in SAP, we can give only 2021. Okay, so why not 22? There is some logic is there. Suppose, I told you, suppose my, what is our financial year, physical year variant, V3. So since our company code is in India, I want to go for the April to March. So V3, I will assign to company code SN16, fine. So here, for our company code N16, this financial year, I will give every day 2021 only, fine. Because it is system defined. Under V3 physical year variant, this prescribed uh, table is there. I will show you that, okay? Suppose April to March 21 to 22. So take here calendar year 21, take the calendar year 22. Okay, so April to 
okay april to december it falls in which year 2020 right april to this year this year 21 april to this, this december total nine months falls in the 21 the remaining january february march falls in the next calendar year which is three three months which falls in the 22 where we have more than six months so that year we can consider as our physical year. Okay, suppose if your client to financial is October 21 to September 22. Okay, October, November, December, only three months in 21, the remaining nine months falls in the 20. Today we have more than six months, 20. So that year consider as 22 physical year. Suppose if our client uh, financial is up July 21st, sorry, 21 to June 22, July to July to December, six months here, and the remaining six months equally, six months here and equally, the remaining six months are in 22. So in this case, the first year we can consider as our physical. Understood? Any questions here? So, this is the way we can define our physical year. So, right now, what is our physical year? 21. Okay, so our physical year is 2021. Why means? This is the logic. Okay, actually, uh, calendar year is January to December. Wherever you go, the calendar year is January to December. Okay, but your, finance, your client financial year is April to March. Suppose your client financial is July to June. Your client financial year is October to September. So there is a, but by default in SAP server, calendar year is January to December. But my client, okay, my client uh, financial year is April to March. How system will come to me? So I have to, we have to maintain the table. So actually, what is our first period? If you observe, what is our first period? April. But according to the calendar year, what is the first period? January. How system will come to know that? So, under physical year variance, okay, under physical year variance, system is already predefined table is there. So, based on this table, system will come to know April is my first period, not January. How? How will system is maintaining the table under physical year variant? So V3 is the physical year variant for Indian companies. If I assign that under that V3 physical year variant, so that the predefined table is there. Okay, so that is January to December as usual. These are our calendar months. So months 1, 2, 3, 4, up to October. Days also, you know, 10, 31, 29, whatever I have given. Okay, next. Here I'm going to tell the system period in SAP. Here I'm telling the system my period in SAP is first period is April and May. So December is your ninth period, obviously. And the next year, January, February, and March is my last period. So here I'm telling the system April is my first period, March is the 12th period. Okay, fine. Now, year shift. Year shift is what? Okay. Now come here. Year shift means what is our physical year? 21. Calendar year is 21. Here up to April to okay, December. Up to April to December. Our physical year is 21. Calendar year is also 21. 21 minus 21, 0. Fine. But this January, February, March. These are these falls in next calendar year 22. But up to next March, our physical year is 21 only. Okay, so up to March, our physical year is 21. But calendar is changed, you know, 22. So physical year, the formula is physical year minus calendar year. Minus 1. So by giving the minus 1, System will come to know these three months falls in the next calendar year. So this is the conversion table which is already predefined in the 
and the physical year vary. Any questions here? Tell me, please. Any questions? I I have a question in the previous example, and this one I'm fine. In the previous example, uh, previous diagram table. Hmm. I didn't understand. What is that? Who is this? So, who is J J? Yeah, J. Tell me. So I have a doubt in the previous table. If you scroll up, uh, yeah, yeah. In in this one, right? Uh, the last one, uh, the fiscal year is twenty twenty two, from October to September. Mm. Uh, that's the only thing I have doubt. Here, October twenty October. How many months are there? Three. Three. In twenty one, how many months are there? Three. Next year, how many months are there? Nine. Where we have more than six months. Okay, so it's it's basically the majority of the months we are uh, considering, right? That's what I was three times I told. Where we have more than six months. Okay, okay, got where it. Where we have more than six months. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that. So this I am going to. Okay, this I am going to show in the system. Okay, let me show you what are the physical. I am telling that we have predefined physical year variant. V three, V four. According to your client requirement, you have to assign to your company board directly. So no need to maintain all this table manually. So in real time also, okay. So we have to assign by the, uh, the standard one. I'm going to ask you all. I'm using the part financial accounting. while you doing that better use the transaction okay so that you are friendly with them okay so now i am going to talk about fiscal year variant so go for global settings their company code Yeah. Financial accounting global settings, physical year, maintain physical year variant. So select a position. First, I will show you V three. See V three for Indian companies, April to March, dual periods, four special periods. Okay. Suppose V six. If the your company, if her uh, client financial is July to June. Okay. V nine, October to September. So almost all predefined physical year variants are there. So let me take this V three. Just take that. Let me show you first. 
go to periods, whatever the table I explained here, which is day. So here, clearly I'm telling the system, April is my first period. March, next to March is my 12th period. Clearly I'm mentioning to the system. Okay. So this V3, what I do directly, I can assign to your company code or what I do. So I can copy this, I can copy and I just change the name, okay? As only two digits it will take. So what I do, uh, N1, I'm just changing the name by copying that, enter. If you want, you can assign directly V3 or else you can copy your own. You can create your own by copying that, okay? So copy all, copy all means the table which is there under V3 is also copied. Enter. Yes, first save it. I will show you whether the table has been copied or not. Save in your request. N1, okay, go to periods, right? So the table is also copied, okay? So I created my own physical variant N1 by copying the V3. So next, what you have to do? I have to assign this to the company code. Okay, go back and assign this to our company code. Position. Company code is N16. Physical area variant is N1. Okay, save it. Some assignments are not done. That is the reason it was showing. Just ignore that. Okay, I just say that, fine. Next, so here in the physical invariant, what I did actually, there I told the system to one periods. Yeah, what I did. Here, just I told the system to one periods of uh, I'm having in the financial year for special period. I have I just told the system and which period is first, which period is lost. I told the system in the next step, these periods I have to open whatever April to March are there. You know, that periods you have to open, then only the end user can able to post in that period. So, these I have to open. So, that is nothing but we have to create a post. Posting period variant. What is posting period variant? Posting period variant means by using the posting period variant, I have to open the periods of our physical year, which is April to March. There are three steps for creation of for uh, posting period variant. First, I have to create the posting period variant. Second, I have to assign to the company code. Third. I have to open the periods. Three steps. What I'm telling again, first I have to create posting period variant. Second, I have to assign to the company code. Third, I have to assign to the, sorry, I have to open the periods. Suppose if you were, you have three company codes, say for example, three company codes financially is same. So what I do, I create only one posting period variant, say X, that posting period variant assigned to the three company codes, then I can open the periods. Since the requirement is same, I can create only one posting period variant, I can assign to the three company codes. If the requirement is different, I have to create the three posting period variants separately. I have to open the period separately depends on the requirement. 
we have to create okay so whatever it is what are the steps first we have to create a posting period variant second we have to assign third i have to open april to march i will show you in the system first i'm using the path go back here just below the document posting periods here first i have to create here define variant for open piece posting periods okay select new entries okay here i'm just giving one creating one variant nothing i'm doing i'm just creating one variant okay okay save it save in your request i just created here second step i have to assign that to company code after creating assign this to the company code position company code is so posting period variant i am going to assign to company code second step now main is these posting period variants under this posting period variant i have to open the periods go back here i have to open the periods fine so here new entries i created already right n16 okay so here first let me show you this here from period 1 1 here one means what can anybody tell one means what which period april april yes physical year is 21 two period what is our last period 12 12 means what 12 march 2022 so here physical year is 2022 who is this srinu no srinu okay 2021 21 okay. okay yes okay yes okay so up to march okay our physical year is 21 only don't change okay mm -hmm. yes please yeah these are the special periods i'll explain this at the time of closing procedure fine now okay i open the periods so these period suppose here you can see this account category here what is a okay valid for all account types if i give plus so you can see what is this there are for you, for each and every module we have some account type suppose in case of uh, gl s s account type in case of customers d in case of vendors k in case of assets a so if i give plus these are the periods which i going to open 1 to 12 these are going to valid for all the sub modules or modules suppose if i give s if i give only a it is going to open only for asset account if i give s it is going to open applicable only for the gl accounts i mean gl model if i give plus i can able to open the periods for all the account types for assets customers vendors material gl accounts for all the vendors so by giving this account type i can able to restrict that uh open periods for particular module wise now here i am giving plus so this i am going to open for the all modules okay plus so our first period is april physical year is 21 12 is my last period 21 is a physical year okay just say it okay 
actually in a real time no one will open one to two all periods so no one will open april to next year uh, march no one nobody will open because the end user if i open all these together to all months the end user he is uh, he misuse the periods he misuse the periods mean he can suppose now we are in the november period november month he can post the transaction next month also or he can post the last period august also whatever it is so end user can misuse it okay so that is the reason nobody will open the periods like this so some some companies for more secure reason they can open only april period one to one means only april period once april is over next only may period only two they will give means only may period so on monthly basis they can open or they can open on quarterly quarterly means suppose april may june 1 2 3 once june profitability is over again 4 5 6 so some, it depends on the client request some clients can open uh, on monthly basis on quarterly basis but nobody will open at a time to all periods okay so okay this is fine at the time of implementation i can open this whatever so once implementation is done who is the responsibility to open these periods end user right this is the screen is also available at the end user screen this screen is also available at the end user screen but not all end users only senior persons they can have access to this screen only those senior persons they can open the periods okay so for this purpose what i do here i can create one authorization group say for example i'll do this one authorization group this authorization group can be assigned to only uh, senior persons i here i'll create n16 the basis guy okay uh, he can basis guy means who will maintain the uh, access to the users everything okay so that guy he can assign this group to the respective authorized people only those guys can able to open or close periods so this some screens remember some screens will be available from spro as well as end user screen okay so this screen is also available at the end user screen so why it is authorization group so to restrict the end user from opening this periods okay this is on monthly basis or quarterly basis depends on the client requirement but here uh, while we are doing practice i am just opening this One to twelve periods, madam. Yeah. Uh, that authorization uh, um, N sixteen you given is it uh, senior person uh, SAP username ID? Senior person who is the senior person in the whoever yeah, maybe that. Ah oh, yes, that person uh, user uh, SAP user ID or uh, what is this? What you know? Sorry, uh, that authorization N uh, sixteen you given mm. is it uh, uh, that senior person uh, SAP user ID? Yeah, that we have to assign to only few persons who have authorized senior people. For them, the basis they can assign. Ah, uh, uh, example uh, N sixteen user ID, and uh, we can uh, not uh, user ID for his user ID. We have they can assign basis guy. That is not our job. means uh, senior persons uh, will not give to uh, uh, all and us right so i am asking this question no no this authorization group can be suppose director is there director will be having one user id password right for his yes, yes. user id we can assign this authorization group this is not user mm. id okay so of suppose two or three persons are uh, having uh, they are senior persons they have access yes. means we can authorize we can access this n16 we can assign this n16 group to three persons where again to their user ids that is not our job sap guy sorry basis guy he can assign that here i i my job is creating this authorization group i can intimate the basis guy he will assign that okay okay here i am not giving any group okay but in real time it happens okay Yes, 
Okay, uh, please can you quickly rejoin?